Okay guys, so in uh, wrapping up this part of the segment, we're going to finish up everything that has to do with the intake manifold, which um, does happen to include doing your injector wires. And I've got my pocket full of them here. So uh, I'll show you how to go ahead and do that. Also, the intake air temperature sensor, which we've gone ahead and stuck in here, and I got the pigtail for it on eBay as well. And I'll show you how to do that. Pigtails will be labeled. It should have an A and a B on them to let you know which wire is which. Um, that goes there. So then what we have to do next is figure out which of the two wires in the old uh, mass airflow meters um, you know, five wire setup are for those and basically cut them and solder them onto the pigtail. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to temporarily set the intake on. I'm not going to bolt it down. I'm just going to set it on there so I can go ahead and make sure the length is correct for the injectors um, and, and for the intake sensor. Because I did order that oil pressure adapter back there. And that'll take a couple days to get here. So I can't actually bolt the intake down until that's done. But I can set it on. And let me, that'll let me keep moving forward a while. Alright, so I'll pick up some video footage with me showing you what to do with these wires. Uh, I've gone ahead and put my, got my solder gun out. Uh, so I can get that warmed up. I've got some shrink tubing and uh, I got my solder and I'll get a little flux up there yet and we'll be good to go. I'll show you guys how we do this. Alright guys, we're up here underneath the engine. I've gone ahead and sat the intake on, uh, laid out the harness beside it. What we're going to do is go ahead and cut off these old uh, Delphi clips uh, and get ready to start soldering on our new style. Now, um, injectors are uh, a coil so there really is no polarity per se in this particular models there's no diodes or anything in them but just to keep it consistent we're going to go ahead and just do the same color to the same color the whole way across so it'll end up being like this pink to the red and the black to the yellow and we'll go across as you see these kind of have a long pigtail on them themselves so there's plenty of extra so what you can end up doing is just trimming these down as needed so that they end up being about the same length you know, I don't have to teach you guys how to solder and how to shrink wrap and all that, so I won't show you that. But I'm going to go ahead and bust out these four on this side, and I'll pick up and show you what they look like when they're done there. Okay, guys, one side done. Go ahead and leave the harness out just to make sure everything reaches, but I didn't plug anything in permanent. It's just kind of just sitting on here. Same with the injectors. You can see. Gone ahead and uh, shrink wrapped them and then put them back up inside the loom and taped it. Looks good. That side's all finished for the injectors. I'll rinse and repeat and do this side. And once this side's done, we'll pick up the video we're showing you how to uh, convert from the five wire mass airflow meter plug, since we're getting rid of the mass airflow meter. Um, and all we really need out of this is just the two wires that go to the intake temperature sensor. Okay, stay tuned for that. Okay guys, I got all of the pigtails done for the injectors. Now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and hook up your IAT sensor. Remember I showed you on the IAT sensor it's labeled A and B? Well, uh, when you hold the mass airflow meter switch towards you like this, A will be over here. So this is A and this is B. It's this blackish one, this dark one. I believe it's a, uh, yeah, I believe it's technically a black color, yeah. And then we got tan. So that'll be A and B. You simply connect A and B to A and B on your pigtail that you bought, regardless of the color on that. The one I bought was brown and purple. Um, and then these other three wires are for the mass airflow meter only, and since they're not getting used, I'm actually going to cut them off too, back in deeper, and just let them kind of nestle back in this, this uh, loom. And uh, I'll go ahead and solder up the IAT sensor to these two, and uh, that'll be done. And then our harness can go, well, conversion parts of our harness will be finished. Um, the next step then to be to wrapping up the uh, intake will be to go ahead and uh, finish the fuel line. Remember I said I need to get the half inch fuel line yet from the from tomorrow from the store, but here's the 3 8 already ran up. I can cut this off, put the barb in there with the 6 AN line and go ahead and hook the return up and the return will be finished other than fastening it up underneath the vehicle better when I get some more zip ties. So, all right, let me pick up the uh, the video footage here showing you the finished finished uh, harness modifications. All right, so I got sensor pigtails done. Gone ahead and just extended it out like that. That'll plug right in here now into the top of the intake, just like this. Mass airflow meter is deleted. 
Now we're on what's called a speed density setup. No mass airflow meter. So the pigtails are all done over here for the injectors and laid out. Um, one thing that we still have to do yet, and, if, and it really depends on how you guys are going to do it, is back here we have a map sensor plug. If you plan on going with like the brick style GM3 bar map sensor, you will have to go ahead and cut that off and solder on your pigtail accordingly. I'm going to try something a little different with this setup and see if I can get it to work. I've got a, uh, a three bar map sensor off of a ZR1 Corvette and uh, while I can't put it into the intake because this intake obviously don't have any fitting for it, um, I can slip a piece of vacuum hose on it and just use it like the normal old brick style. But I believe it'll plug right into this. I'm going to grab it here in a little while and test it, but I think it'll plug right into the factory plug. Okay, so next thing for me to do is go ahead and tighten down. I didn't, I didn't tighten these down yet for the fittings. And I'm going to go ahead and cut and uh, set up the uh, return there while I have the intake on so that that hose is the proper length and finished. And then, uh, boy, um, I think the next step for me is going to go to be to go ahead and put the spark plugs in and this and put the manifolds back on but that of course is an entirely different segment we're just about finished with um, with this one just have to get some hose tomorrow and some clamps and the harness slash intake slash finishing up fuel system injectors and cam swap and you know all that stuff's you know we're caught up on that so so uh, next step now is going to be to finish up the uh, 3 8 fuel line here and uh, starting to run out of things to do today yet until I ha get some more pieces alright guys so here's the factory plug and I want to tell you what they basically do here uh, this would be considered A this would be considered B and this would be considered C it's orange or black light green and gray the gray is the 5 volt reference the light green is, of course, is the uh, the map signal, and then the orange um, they call it a couple of different things, but it's basically the ground. So when you're looking at your GM3 bar, it's going to go A, B, C across like that. So you would just correspond that accordingly. You know, it would be uh, um, A would be the orange. B would be the green, and gray would be C. And of course, if your pigtail's colored, you can match that. Mine's not. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in, and just pay attention to which wire goes where, since they're all white in this case. I'm going to cut them down a little shorter too. Okay. Well, I can't hold the camera while I cut and solder and shrink wrap, so I'll pick up with the finished product. All right, guys, all done. So just remember when you hook up your GM3 bar. That uh, and of course, if you buy a harness plug and play from us, this is already done for you. This is for the guys who who didn't buy a harness from us. Just remember, you want to connect A. Uh, let me stretch this out so we can so I can actually show you. There we go. Remember, you want to connect A to the orange with black stripe, B to the light green, and C to the gray, and uh, then connect this to a vacuum source with a vacuum hose. If you're using a stock truck intake, you can always let that stock map sensor just in there and unhooked. It'll plug the hole up just nice. And you can add some T-fittings and vacuum hoses and do whatever you want. Most trucks also have a vacuum fitting up here or so. Since this one's shaved, we've got to work with what we got. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the intake on and bolt it down. And start assembling, uh, yeah, assembling. Start clicking all the wires into their place and routing everything. What you, what you want, what you, what you want.